Okay, I'm gonna be showing y'all where the best spot to set a dog proof trap is. And there's a lot of questions about on YouTube where to set traps, specifically dog proof traps. Well, there's a feeder right there, a deer feeder. Then we got a pond right there, pretty close together. That is an ideal spot for a place to set a coon trap. But I'm not gonna set it right here. I mean, you could set one right there and probably catch a bunch of coons, but some of y'all that don't have these resources that are just right there need to know where to set them and like all the brush. But there's so many trails coming up to this feeder, so. I'm going to get back in this brush and show you all where y'all can set some quality sets and catch a lot of coons. So we're going up here, right here. And one of the main spots, even if you don't have a bait source anywhere around, this is base. I'm not even worried about the bait source right now, but you don't have to have a bait source to trap. So right here. This is a perfect spot to trap. So if you look up right through there, there's a trail going out that way. And a trail going right through there that way. There's two trails that come up on an intersection right here. So stick a dog proof right there, tie it to the tree. All those coons are going to funnel in from that trail and that trail. And they're all gonna end up right here. And right here, you'll have a coon in the next morning, hopefully. So, let's go find another example. And once again, you don't need a bait source to do this. All you gotta do is find the right trails. And most of the time, coons are gonna follow deer trails, so. Cause it's an easy path for them to go through can be lazy so let's go through here almost to the next spot that I want to show y'all oh I hurt okay so we got this trail going through there up to the feeder way up there in that opening right here then we got a trail straight ahead crossing this big one and going right up through there so this is another perfect spot. Put a dog proof tied to that cedar right there. Put one right there. You're gonna have a lot of action. So that's two probably in 25 yards around there. So now let's set a few more down by these trails over here. And if you find these trails and set them up on these trails, it'll be a lot more successful than just putting them somewhere. You still, oh, look at this. So there's a pile of coon crap right there on these trails. You know that they're coming. But like I said, intersections on the trails are perfect. There's a little intersection, but that's not really what we're looking for. Let me go. Oh, okay. Now this is another main trail. It's the same main trail that I showed y'all way up through that thick brush that's coming down here. But this is a good spot to put a trap so if they somehow get past this trap, then you have another chance. So I would usually set one up there in the intersection and then come down here on this big main trail if there's a lot of coon sign and stick one right here on this big trail that goes all the way up through there and all the way up through there all the way into a bunch of thicket so let me go find one more example so when y'all get out in the woods y'all can see y'all can find a good spot to put these dog proof traps now this isn't just for dog proofs you can do this for any trap this will work for any trap i'll have coil spring Duke coil spring trapping when it when I go and get them at the ranch but right now 
I'm just focusing on dog proof traps at my house because that's all I really can do because of the cats. So there's a trail coming through there, right here. It goes up through there. Then you've got another trail that goes up through there and another one that comes through there. So that is one of the most perfect sets. And another one that goes up through there. So right here, right on this ground I'm stepping on, this is a perfect set. You're gonna catch a lot of animals in here. So that's what I'm talking about. You wanna set it right in these big trails. And then if you're bait trapping and you have a feeder, then you can go to your feeder and set one right there and catch them easy. But if you don't have any bait around, just look for these trails. Look for big intersections and you'll have some success. So, yep, thanks for watching. Hope this helps y'all. Bye.